It's okay to say no, according to one city councilman. In his district, these new signs have gone up, discouraging San Antonians from giving money to panhandlers. Instead, the public is being encouraged to give those dollars elsewhere. Ken's 5's Rania Kaur explains where he'd rather you give the money. Councilman Manny Pelias put these signs around four intersections across his district. His hope is that people give to local organizations instead, and one homeless organization agrees. I'm asking San Antonians to make a difficult choice. When it comes to panhandling, Councilman Manny Pelias made his choice. And that is when they see somebody in trouble, in need of help, it's to not roll the window down, but instead, when they get home, open your web, you know, open your web browser and make a donation to the agencies that are going to use those dollars and stretch them out. Back in 2019, Pelias launched Essay Gives, a program encouraging San Antonians to text donations instead of giving to panhandlers. Now, nearly five years later, the signs are now up. For him, this is about protecting generosity in San Antonio. I don't care about being canceled if what I'm doing is the right thing, right? And what I'm doing is the right thing. Christian Assistance Ministry, which has a location blocks away from where some of the signs are, agrees. The CEO and president argues panhandling isn't a long-term solution. We want someone to get a higher quality of life. And living on the street and begging for money long-term shouldn't be the kind of solutions we want. And there are better ways to help. In the long run, it is more compassionate if you feel that strongly about helping people to get engaged, volunteer at a nonprofit, donate your dollars to that, because I think that we are really working on some solutions to help people. Rania Kaur, Ken's Five. I'm Jeremy.